So this is using remdesivir, which was used for SARS. So a lot of the treatments right now are using things that worked for SARS. Remdesivir developed by Gilead Sciences. So if you look at Gilead Sciences, their stocks went up. It's an investigation of broad spectrum antiviral treatment. It was previously tested in humans with Ebola virus and has shown promise in animal models for treating MERS. So Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome, another coronavirus and SARS. Um, so it's been showing promise for treating two other coronaviruses. So why would it not work on this one? This one could be in a potential promising route as an antiviral. It's mechanism of action. I'm not sure exactly how it works, if it blocks anything. Let's look it up. So they found that uh, remdesivir blocks a particular enzyme that is required for viral replication. Oh, no way. This is what it blocks? Coronaviruses replicate by copying their genetic material using enzyme known as RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. Oh gosh, we're going to go down this rabbit hole, peeps. Time to draw it. I can actually use this, my previous drawing. And Okay, I am going to edit this a little bit because I'm going to erase the Golgi and this endocytosis pathway here. So what I had here, this was a cell. This was the virus entering the cell, replicating itself, and then exiting. So one thing I didn't mention in this pathway is that when this starts making a protein, one of the first proteins this RNA makes is RNA-dependent RNA polymerase, or better known as RDRP, RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. So that's the abbreviation for it. Sometimes we refer to this as replicase. So now why does this matter? I'll tell you why it matters. So the first protein this ribosome actually makes is this RDRP. Now, what does this RDRP do? It actually comes down to this end. So it's an RNA polymerase. If you had to guess what an RNA polymerase does, what do you think an RNA polymerase does? Think of it. So an a RNA, so RNA polymerase. Yes, it polymerizes more RNA. So polymerization is growing a chain. So what this does is it makes more RNA. So this RDP, what this does, this is making RNA. Now what RNA does it make? Why would this virus code for an RNA polymerase? Here's why. One thing I didn't talk about when I first talked about this is that, so this is a positive RNA. Remember a positive RNA is equal to an mRNA, very, very similar. So an mRNA is a messenger RNA, which becomes proteins. When the virus enters the cell, only one of these enters. And it's not going to be able to make enough proteins fast enough if there's only one. So what this RDRP does is it binds to this end right here. And guess what it does? It makes another RNA, except this one is a negative sense RNA. Now, what is a negative sense RNA? So it's just not messenger RNA. So it's the it's called the template strand. If we were to make something that's the most similar thing to DNA, it would be this. So the, uh, you would just replace the uracils with thymines. Yeah, it's not really backwards RNA. It's the other side. So you know how DNA is double-stranded? So here, uh, DNA is double-stranded. So it forms complementary base pairing. So when DNA breaks apart here and forms this little bubble, and these base pairs come out like this, and then an RNA strand is being made. Let's say we're making this RNA strand right there. RNA polymerase comes in, and it starts forming complementary base pairing right here. It only does it to one side. This is called the template strand, and this is called the non-template strand. So then this continues down through, going down this way, adding uh, new nucleotides as it goes down, and then eventually we'll spit out that messenger RNA. Now, if it chose this side, it wouldn't be choosing the right strand. And that's what this is. So imagine if this read this strand instead, and here I should draw this red. So imagine if this one did this one instead. So this one produces then an RNA that's the non-template one. So this one would be negative. So not proper messenger RNA. And now this one down here, again, is that messenger RNA. This one can become protein. This one cannot. Why did we just make this negative RNA? So this protein does one more thing. What it does is it comes over here and latches onto this. Guess, okay, if you were making another protein strand from this, what would it do? Okay, if it's forming a complementary strand, so this is acting as, yes, it's acting as a template to then form more of this. 
So guess what comes out of this one now? So this forms positive sense RNA now, and it keeps doing it. So what happens if you is that you get all this positive RNA that starts building up now. And what happens if you have all these extra strands of positive sense RNA? Remember the aqua balls here? These are the ribosomes start coming in and you start mass producing the viral proteins. You start mass producing all these proteins, you start making tons of more viruses, and it's crazy. This RNA dependent RNA polymerase is encoded in the viral genome. So it takes this sequence, it encodes for this polymerase, and then it just duplicates itself, producing all this messenger RNA, which then becomes more viral protein. So we have remdesivir. This is an antiviral. Do you guys remember what this paper said this inhibited? Let's go back to the paper. They found that remdesivir, remdesivir blocks a particular enzyme that is required for viral replication. Coronaviruses they replicate by copying the genetic material using an enzyme known as RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. So if we block that enzyme, what's gonna happen? Let's go back to our drawing board. So if we block this, we block this. Then we block this, then we block this, then we block this, and then we block this. And then we're not making enough viruses fast enough. How cool would that be if that works? Let's see if it's in mole view. Yes, it's here. Yeah, I don't know if it would block other polymerases. So why does it, why is that RNA dependent RNA polymerase unique in structure compared to other RNA polymerases? And that's a great question, Adam. Um, could this block something else? So this is the uh, structure. Um, I'm not saying this uh, remdesivir is gonna be the solve to the cure to everything or anything like that. Not saying that at all. I'm just saying it's a potential promising treatment. Actually, those aren't nitrogens there. No, it's not guanine. It's kind of like an adenine, but it lacks two nitrogens in the ring. Interesting. So there would be two nitrogens right there for this to be um, adenine. All right, so what I was saying, uh, this is adenine, and this is the nitrogenous ring I was talking about over here. I don't know how this binds, by the way. <laughs> I've been showing this molecule here and spinning around. I have no idea how, how it binds to this polymerase and stops it.